hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel so in this video we are going to prove z of minus 13 is equal to minus 1 over 12 well how to begin okay uh, let's begin with uh, ramajan summation formula for divergent series in a previous video we also uh, used this formula we have sum of n is equal 1 to infinity f of n is equal to minus f of 0 over 2 plus i times integral from 0 to infinity f of i times t minus f of minus i times t over e to the 2 pi t minus 1 d t okay uh, then uh, we need to evaluate c of uh, minus 13 so we know uh, about c function c of s is equal to sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n to the s so let's take uh, f of n is equal to n to the uh, 13 power and uh, we know uh, f of 0 is equal to uh, 0 so uh, this part uh, will be 0 therefore uh, we can write now sum of n is equal 1 to infinity n to the uh, 13 power is equal to i times integral from 0 to infinity now here we have uh, i t raised to the uh, 13 power minus minus i t raised to the 13 power over e to the 2 pi t minus 1 d t well uh, then we know this is equal to uh, theta of minus 13 and uh, here now uh, here uh, i to the 13 power here also minus i to the 13 power so now i am going to split this integral uh, into two different integrals and uh, first here i am going to take i as a common factor so here we have i square integral from 0 to infinity now i to the uh, 12th power we can write i square raised to the uh, 6 power times t to the 13 power over e to the 2 pi t minus 1 dt minus 1 to the 13 power so here again we know plus uh, i square times integral from 0 to infinity here again i square raised to the uh, 6 power t to the 13 power over e to the 2 pi t minus 1 d t okay then uh, here we have uh, same integral so we have uh, 2 times i square i square we know minus 1 so minus 2 times integral from 0 to infinity now uh, i square we know minus 1 minus 1 to the 6 power we know plus so we have t to the 13 power over e to the 2 pi t minus 1 d t okay then uh, to evaluate this integral we can take a substitution 2 pi t is equal to x then if we differentiate 2 pi dt is equal to dx so we can plug in minus 2 limit we know also 0 to infinity now t is equal to x over 2 times pi raised to the uh, 13 power over e to the uh, 2 pi t 2 pi t we know x minus 1 times dt we have dx over 2 times pi okay then uh, here minus 2 here 1 over 2 pi raised to the 13 power so 1 over 2 pi raised to the 13 power uh, times here 2 times pi so 1 over 2 times pi integral from 0 to infinity x to the here uh, 13 power over e to the x minus 1 d x okay then uh, we know this two this two uh, get cancelled so we have uh, minus 1 raised to the here 2 to the 13 power so we have 2 raised to the 13 power and pi raised to the here pi here 13 power so 5 to the uh, 14th power times now this integral integral from 0 to infinity x to the 
p minus 1 over e to the x minus 1 dx is equal to gamma of p times theta of p in a previous video we discussed about uh, this integral if you like to watch this video i will add the link in the description and also make a card so we have uh, this integral we know gamma of 14 times theta of 14 well uh, then uh, we can uh, simplify here minus 1 over 2 to the 13th power pi to the 14th power times gamma 14 we know uh, 13 factorial uh, times theta of uh, 14 the special value of theta of 14 2 times pi to the 14th power over uh, 1 8 uh, 2 4 32 20 okay now i think uh, you can simplify so if we simplify we will have minus 1 over 12 okay uh, if you like to watch this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching